This video looks at the solution to AdExcel M2, June 2011, question 4, which is on center of mass, finding the center of mass. And the problem is all about a uniform lamina, in other words, a flat, thin sheet, as shown in that diagram. And we've got to find the distance for part A, we've got to find the distance of the center of mass of the lamina from AE, in other words, the left hand edge here, AE. So if we go to another page to give us some room, I've drawn it out again, and I'm going to make up a table. Um, it's the usual way of setting up these questions. And in the question, we need to list the mass and the distance. And the distance will be from AE. We know by symmetry that the center of mass of this sheet must be on the um, line of symmetry up there. So we've got the total is equal to the rectangle plus the triangle. And just working out some areas now. There's no problem here with, with different densities or anything. So the areas will be in direct proportion to the masses. The area of the rectangle is 8. And the area of the triangle, half base times height, gives you 1. I'm omitting the a squared. And the total area, total mass, then, is 9. We want the distance of the center of mass of the total from AE. We'll call it x bar. So the center of mass of the total is here, here somewhere. And this is x bar. The uh, center of mass of the rectangle is at a distance of 2a, and the center of mass of the triangle, now you might want to pause the video and think about this for a minute, is 4a plus a over 3, 13a over 3, because the center of mass of a triangle is one third of the way up the median, so a third a. Right, now all that remains is to take moments about AE. So the total mass times x bar is equal to the sum of the masses uh, the, uh, times their distances, which is 16a plus 13a over 3. And that gives us x bar equals, again, pause the video and check it, 61a over 27. That's the first part of the question. Let's move on. Perhaps we better go back and look at the question here. There's only one more bit to do, and it's quite a common question. They want to find the angle between AB and the downward vertical when the lamina is suspended from A, in other words, from that vertex. So, now that we know the position of the center of mass, that's going to be easy because if it's suspended from A, we know the center of mass is on this line here, and we know it's at a distance of uh, 61a over 27, 61 over 27a, to there. Now, if it's suspended from A, the vertical through A will be this line from A to G. In other words, the center of mass, I'll just draw that again so that it's a proper straight line, the center of mass will be vertically below A. So the red line will be the vertical, and we want to find the angle between AB and the downward vertical. In other words, we want to find this angle here, theta, which is the same as that angle there. So from that triangle, it's easy to see that tan theta is A over X bar, as we called it. In other words, A over 61 over 27A, which is 
27 over 61. That's tan theta. So theta is 23.9 degrees. Uh, the answer gives it as 24 degrees. And that's the last part of the question, to find the angle between AB and the vertical. So let's just look at the mark allocation there. To find the um, center of gravity, there was marks um, for just showing these different masses and positions. They were called B marks for just being seen there. There was an M and an A, an M1 and an A1 for that, that equation finding X bar. And then for this section, there was three marks in total, one mark for the method and another two accuracy marks for finding tan theta and then finding theta. Okay. There's some information about the Further Math Support Programme. So thank you for listening.